Hey everyone, this is your video for Asynchronous Friday on March 26, 2021. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to a brand new blank page in your journal. You can use a pencil for this. And I want you to follow along with what I draw. So I'm going to draw two columns. I'm, I'm not using the ruler. I didn't measure it out. I'm just eyeballing. If you want to measure, that's fine with me. And then um, two, so actually it's three columns. Two lines make three columns. And then two horizontal lines to make three rows. Okay, so that's the setup of the page. And in each section, you are going to draw a three-dimensional item. You need to do five this Friday, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, okay? And um, the things that you might want to find around your house, so we're not doing art supplies for this. Anything else goes that is reasonable that you can draw. Um, so I have some examples to show you. I have some hand lotion. That would be a great one to draw. Um, notice that this down here is a cylinder. Okay, and this is kind of like um, a cone. Okay, so you can see how those two shapes um, put together make up this. So one idea, um, you're just gonna walk around your house and you're gonna see what you have. I did have this um, kind of boxy container here of the nuts here. So that's kind of like a cube. Uh, clear things are the hardest. So I would probably stay away from, from clear things. A clear glass, a clear vase, those are really hard to do. Same with um, like silverware because of the reflection, but clear is way harder than silverware. Um, I have this cute little statue that my brother brought me from wherever he went. I have no idea where it's from. He travels a lot. So cute little statue. You can see down here is a cone. There's some different shapes in here, more of cone like up here. So um, I have this since I'm in my classroom. I have this and it's a pencil sharpener um, that can get hung on the wall, right? Sometimes they look like this. And um, this is very much like a um, cube with maybe a sphere at the top. So if you can break down the item to um, different shapes, it'll be a lot easier for you to draw. I have some glasses, right? Okay, and so you want to draw these in three dimension. A little salt shaker, so cute. And a little trophy. So, um, you know, here's a cylinder here. This is the top of a sphere. This is kind of conical or cone-like. Okay, so when you're drawing them, the things you need are highlight, core shadow, cast shadow, reflected light. You do not need to label, okay? So um, if I was drawing this guy here, I wanna make sure that, um, I think I'll put him up like this so I can see it. You know, my eyes are going this way. You're kind of have a top-down view. Um, but, you know, I'm gonna start with the basic shapes and sketching them out and getting kind of the proportions here. So I noticed that this and this are about the same width. And then it goes wider. So you can sketch it out first with your pencil, right? Just like we've been doing in class. It says one, two, three. One, 
Maybe I need to bring the top part up a little bit. Oh, the handles are intricate. But I'm just sketching first with my pencil. I actually have never drawn this particular thing. Um, and then you can go in with your eraser. Right. Okay, so once I sketch it in, then I can um, put in my shadows. Okay, you can have the light source come from either side. Maybe if my, my light source is here, maybe my shadow would be over here. Okay, and I want you to do a really nice job. Okay. So five, one, two, three, four, five. Five different objects that are not art supplies. Okay. That is your, and just have it in your journal. We'll come back to it in the future. Okay, that's your um, work for your Asynchronous Friday on March 26th.